Hi, my name is Jay and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Fabrio. In this video, I'll walk you through the platform from a student's perspective. One of Fabrio's greatest strengths is the ability to check their work as they go through the courses online. Our partnership with F1 in Schools means that all F1 in Schools teams have access to a portion of Fabrio's software courses for free. Firstly, the students will log in using the username and password you've provided. They'll then come to a dashboard where they can see the last lesson they were on, any lessons that you've assigned to them, and the ability to reset their password and then request some help. If I go to the Browse Courses page and I filter my courses by F1 in Schools, you can see all the F1 in Schools specific courses that are available to the students. Firstly, I'm going to go to the Entry class, and you can see the basic layout of the description, what you'll learn, and prerequisites. Come into curriculum now, and I'm going to jump straight to the end of the tutorial. In this course, we teach a student how to create an entry class no-go zone. In each course, there will be information on the left-hand side. There may or may not be a question. And as you click through, there will be some information other than just teaching them Fusion 360. For example, here we teach them about Newton's third law. You'll also see an image or an animation like so, helping the students progress through the course. On the right hand side of some of the steps, the students will see a model on the right where they can interact with, they can zoom in and out and they can rotate it. This is the model that they're currently working towards in Fusion 360 and it helps them visualize what they're actually needing to create. Back to the step now, you can see there's a check your work with Fabrio in Fusion 360 using the check code. If I copy the check code and I come over to Fusion 360, you can see our plugin. Clicking paste, I'm setting the code and press check. I have now confirmed that this entry class no-go zone is correct to the Fabrio course and the technical regulations for F1 in schools. If this is an incorrect model, it will tell the student that the model is incorrect and they will need to change it until it is correct. 